So, let's see what the FedEx guy brought today. This was ordered yesterday, and it's here today. Absolutely gotta love Amazon Prime. This is the HKS racing controller for the PS3. What this is designed to do is enhance your racing experience. If you don't want to spend the money for a full wheel and rig and all that fun stuff. Or if you just want to pick up and play, you know, run a few laps, you can do it without having to drag yourself all over the place and set it up. What's so special about this, it's got a jog wheel here for steering, so you'd steer like this. And over here, it's got a gas and a brake pedal, which are pressure sensitive. And this is also supposed to be really good, I would imagine, for uh, to simulate left foot braking. Because you can have your thumb on the gas and just roll over onto the brake if you need to just touch the brake ever so slightly. Kind of neat. Heard about this on the GT Planet forums. And enough people own it and talked about it. And I decided to uh, go ahead and order one. Pretty neat. And of course, this car is in Gran Turismo 5. HKS, if you didn't know, is a tuning shop. Probably out in California. There's a digital readout here. So, I'm going to get this out of the packaging. And then uh, play with it for a little bit. And we'll go from there. Alright, so I saved you the anguish of having to watch me part around this thing trying to cut the bubble wrap. Can't stand bubble wrap. Okay. So here we have the controller. Nice long USB cable. I think it's supposed to be 10 feet or so, people were saying. I didn't actually look at the package and, and see, but this uh, connects to your PS3 through USB. Right there and it's hardwired so what this means is uh, I'd have to assume it'll actually give you better rumble than uh, the DualShock 3 because uh, it's got full power going to it all the time and you don't have to worry about it dying so here it is got the little uh, simulated rubber down here in the bottom it feels really nice nice and satiny Kind of like my uh, uh, my spec see-through satin for my phone. So here's the jack wheel. It's got some nice little tension to it. You know, it's not hard. It's not light. It just feels nice. Got a little raised edge right there to give you some grip. Alright, here is the gas and the brake. And these got some spring to them. Uh, a whole lot more spring than uh, L1 or L2 and R2 have. So you're not going to easily just mash it. And, you know, you can actually feel here what you're doing, which is pretty important when you're feathering. And the throttle is raised above the brake. which is pretty important. So when you're on the gas, you can just roll over and touch the brake. Got the D-pad here if you need it, and analog stick if you need it. 
R1, L1, R2, and L2. You start in your select buttons and your PS button. Now, there's a digital readout here, and what that does, it measures your, uh, or it indicates your throttle percentage that you have pressed down, which really doesn't matter a whole lot while you're playing. Um, some games, like GT5, it tells you your throttle percentage, it shows you a meter. Uh, Need for Speed Shift 2 Unleashed does not, though, unfortunately. In the back here, we've got a switch for, uh, Gran Turismo or Need for Speed. Basically all that does is it changes your throttle and brake from here to up here. And believe me, there's a lot more feel here than there is here. Compared to the DS3, um, R2 and L2, this is almost just like pressing a button. There's hardly any throw there at all and it's kind of just like a click it's not that far from a click it's definitely not a range yep clicking no these are not buttons they're just simply telling you what these are now as far as the accuracy um, DualShock 3, it started with the PS2 controller. Uh, the buttons are pressure sensitive. Um, these feel just like you're clicking a button. So, I don't know. We'll see. Got the HKS logo there. Hypermax, which is the car. Controller indicator. <laughs> so, I can hook it up and play with it.